First, it was the size of the soda you could buy. Now, New York officials are taking aim at energy drinks. The Attorney General, Eric Schneiderman, is reportedly looking into whether the multi billion dollar industry overstated the health benefits of its products and understated the role caffeine plays in all of it. Sources say that three companies have been issued subpoenas PepsiCo, the maker of AMP, Monster Beverage, and Living Essentials, which makes that five-hour energy drink. So is the industry deceiving consumers? Should the government be involved at all? With both sides of the debate, we have Meme Roth of National Action Against Obesity calling for more transparency, and Jeff Steyer of the National Center for Public Policy Research says, not so fast. Jeff. Yes. You know, I have bought so many skincare products over the years, and yet I still have the same number of wrinkles. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. You what know, is the problem with the marketing on these drinks? Well, I, I don't think there's any problem. I think the government's overstepping its bound. You know, in law school, we, we called this puffery, lots of fancy advertising that gets everyone all excited, and no one really believes it. I mean, do you really believe that this is going to give you five hours of energy without crashing? And if you do, but then if good you drink for you. certain kinds of beer, Jeff, beautiful girls will surround you at bars. Yeah, but wait, That's wait a minute. I mean, so you're, you're saying let them advertise whoever, make any claim they want. We don't have to believe it if they want to make those claims. Really? Now, look, if, if they're putting twice as much caffeine in there as they're saying that, that there is, fine. That's the appropriate role of government. But this is just another case of the nanny state not wanting you to drink something. Just be careful because they're going to come after your Starbucks next. They're concerned about the caffeine. Yeah. Mammy, what do you what do you make of all this? I, I don't even know what Jeff is talking about. No one's taking away anybody's energy energy drink. The fact of the matter is, we don't even know what an energy drink is. There is no FDA definition of what energy drink means. Uh, it's just a marketing term. And Why we, does there have to be an FDA definition because, of an energy drink? Because people are ingesting it, and children are drinking these things. And if you're going to put something inside your body, as a consumer, you have the right to know what it is. And if there are, if there are any risks associated with it. We should be glad that somebody's looking into it. No one needs to take it away. Just one, tell us what's in it and be honest about it. Two, adults make informed decisions about it. And then three, everyone be responsible for the consequences. These and the really, I mean, that's what the, that's, that appears to be all Eric Schneiderman is doing, is looking into this so that there can be some transparency. He's not saying I'm going to limit the amount you can drink or anything like that. If you look at the reports of what the Attorney General is looking for here, this is a late summer fishing expedition. He cast a very wide net and he was playing into these concerns that we hear from the activists all the time. We don't know what the risks are. I mean, come on. This is fear mongering at its worst. We then, don't have examples oh, of people Jeff, getting. We don't have. We should examples. have no problem. We should applaud them for finding out what's in it. There was lead in paint. I'm wanna, glad there's no lead in paint. There was the, mercury in vaccines. I'm glad there's now no mercury in vaccines. Let's of, find out what's in the can, and if there's something bad in there, let's get it out, or let's at least be honest about what's in it. Nobody is threatening to take away energy drinks. This is the very type of fear mongering I'm concerned about. No one's suggesting there's lead in it or that. That these drinks are dangerous. There are no reports of people getting sick. These are very popular products. I don't endorse them. I don't drink them. But you know what? People out there like it. Let them choose to decide. These are very highly marketed products. People right. can make adult make decisions. Make an informed decision. Get the information so and make a good it. decision. But uh, you know, look, it's it, 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 they're struggling because sugary soft drinks ah. is a tough market. And so the energy drinks are a distraction. Maybe you think it's not bad for you. And the reality is we should find out what's in it and make that information but, uh, obvious to consumers. Piles of lists on all of these products tell you what's in them. You're, no, you're, no, you're really saying they're lying. Actually, that's one no, thing. No, that's actually not the case. They're finding out there may be multiple sources of caffeine it's and caffeine. not clearly telling you that. Uh, guarana apparently is a, a source of caffeine. Who knows what that is? But it's it, in these I, drinks. I know what that is. Guarana is the most popular drink in all of Brazil, and maybe your ignorance doesn't know that, but it's one of the reasons why Coca-Cola <laughs> and Pepsi can't actually make big headroads in Brazil. But, um, but guarana have has been drank, drunk for decades now in Brazil, okay? Here's the problem I've got, and Jeff, Jeff maybe you'll uh, want to address this. You know, there's a, 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 this, this five-hour energy drink, and, I, you know, there's a famous pro golfer that, uh, that endorses this and promotes it and everything, and he says, you know, he, he can get through a whole round of golf <laughs> drinking this thing because he's got the five hours of energy. I mean, I, I know. I mean, can we have really? any fun? Can we have any fun anymore in this country? False advertising isn't fun, but if you want an energy boost, here's what you do: one, get a 20-minute nap, or two, take a 20-minute run. Both of those things great for an energy boost and uh, no negative side effects. And if not, the government's here to protect you.
Exactly. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank I think we've, we've, we've come to a resting point there. That's very good. And I'm nice glad conversation. To be, and Michelle, thanks for pointing out how ignorant I am. I'll, I'll take note of that. Thing. You, you and I have gone way <laughs> on this over and over. She and I have talked about this so often. I have I no know. idea. Yes. Thank you both for joining us. Good